Hey guys, how are we doing? We are back again playing some Seven Days to Die Alpha 18. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Okay, so what you guys are looking at here is a, um, a horde base. Well, a horde defensive system that I'm going to start to set up today. So it is day 13 at the moment. Uh, 9 a.m. as you can see on the timer up there. I've got my original horde base up here, which I was thrilled about the time that we... Um, that I first actually did it and to be perfectly honest with you I think I was a little bit overpowered in terms of how I sort of handled the zombies there so what I wanted to do is I simply I wanted to get into a um, into a different style um, horde base and just sort of make it a little bit more challenging for me and also entertaining for you guys so basically um, I'm actually sort of borrowing and I'm using air quotes here at the moment um, this idea from Ja Woodle so if you guys uh, know who he is he's another Aussie youtuber that does a lot of seven days and diet videos um, pretty awesome he, go check him out he is a fantastic guy to watch but I'm actually going to add to the fact to what he sort of did on his initial horde base so if you watched his um, fist only series this is where he sort of did this for the first seven day um, uh, horde and then I believe the 14 day horde is where, where I'm up to as well but I'm going to sort of add to the fact and this hopefully should, should sort of uh, future proof myself going forward even beyond uh, day 14 so what we're going to do is basically I'm going to build a um, uh, a ramp and we're basically going to come up here the zombies are going to run up here and they're going to try and get me um, to also sorry to attack me from uh, this side here I'm going to be on this side here and I'm going to be trying to use my club and um, basically bat them away as they're sort of running up, trying to uh, basically run amok. There's going to be poles going throughout here to sort of sort of protect myself. I'm actually going to use a method that he used as well um, to further strengthen the main pole line, if that makes any sense. It's all, it's all sort of going to come together basically as I'm sort of going to keep going through and building this up. And then um, basically they're just going to sort of make their way over here or I'm going to move my way across over here. If it gets too crazy or I believe that I'm going to sort of lose the base altogether, I'm going to have two options. Number one, um, over here I'm going to have a, a door that I'm going to use. I'll have my bike over here and basically I'm going to either pedal my way or run across to the original hall base which should be already set up ready to go to take any sort of... Um, uh, attack from the zombie horde or run to the base or do whatever basically just to sort of get myself out of harm's way I've got two uh, avenues here but what I'm gonna do over here is basically they're gonna I'm gonna allow them to run across into here and I'm gonna have like a little pit if you will um, I'm gonna see how it goes initially for the first horde night um, that I'm gonna be doing for this but basically what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna have some um, wedge uh, incline uh, flagstone blocks which I'm going to upgrade to cobblestone um, as it would be and basically what's going to happen is I'm going to have another little perimeter running around here as a little box formation and what's going to happen is um, they're going to run into the middle hopefully they don't run into the pit here I'm going to have actually have some uh, spike uh, sorry iron spikes in here as well just to sort of you know help me out and I was thinking about putting some iron spikes over here I'm not too sure what I'm, if I'm going to do that here essentially um, just for the sake of XP and all that sort of stuff but basically what will happen is the incline is going to be here you're going to have the poles around here go around the perimeter I'm going to be in the back here chilling and just hit and just whacking them away as sort of time moves on throughout the horde night and basically what's going to happen is if they're going to ragdoll into the pit there they're going to hopefully die or just going to be stuck in there for a little bit and basically that will be it so basically that's where I'm sort of looking at here at the moment so I figured I would just sort of give you guys a little bit of context here and just sort of give you um, a bit of info as to what I'm thinking about how to sort of set this up the problem with me at the moment is uh, what's going to sort of hurt me at this point is the uh, production of uh, flagstone so I'm trying to um, craft cobblestone as oh, sorry cobblestone rocks as we speak here at the moment and basically, um, hopefully that's going to give me enough to sort of build most of it or um, to a point where you guys sort of have uh, a bit of an understanding exactly on how this will sort of uh, work out. So hopefully you guys will um, sort of get a bit of an idea and understanding. And this should be long enough. I think this would be suitable as sort of like a little runway sort of going here. And basically from here, I'm going to sort of like build up um, a bit of a ramp sort of structure. 
Um, I think we're going to go about three high if I remember correctly, because I did do this in my other world as well as a bit of a muck around, and that's it sort of worked out for me, so I think I'm going to sort of like implement that um, here, Oops. and pretty much um, the, the zombies are just going to run up this ramp here, and they're, they're pretty much going to sort of have um, a, a bit of a confrontation from me uh, here from this point here. So basically I'm gonna, look, I, I reckon this is probably gonna be a little bit too overpowered in terms of the overall structure of the base. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the spine of this in terms of um, uh, the, like upgrading the the, cob uh, the flagstone over to cobblestone. So I'm sort of just gonna do what I'm gonna do here for now and just sort of um, put everything together. I haven't really put everything to measure or to scale. So even in my other world versus this one here, I'm just sort of ironing it off. Um, actually, I did make a mistake. Ah, I already made it my first mistake with this. So basically what I should have done here is I should have put the wedge blocks in here. And the reason why that I want to put wedge blocks in here and also um, where, the, uh, where the pit will be, basically so they can fall off the incline. So if that happens, um, they either just fall down at the original point here and then they pretty much come back over and start to try and wail on the uh, the base again. So basically I'm just going to sort of break all this open but what I really need to do now is actually um, see if I can build up the old um, whatchamacallit, the incline that I'm going to sort of start doing here. So, <coughs> excuse me, what I'm going to do is let's if I go into the uh, shape mode. Okay, so let's get this one here and There we go and pop that there So basically it's sort of like a runoff if you will and what I'm thinking I should probably only just do a two I think two should be enough for these guys to run up. I think three will be too much So I'm just gonna leave that for now and then what I'm gonna do here is um, Let's just go back into the shape menu. I'll just get this the tip and Basically just simulate that and pop that there and then here will be just a standard block So let's just go back into that and select the block um, pop and, plop. and then physically just go back into that again and do the old wedge and then get out of that And that's pretty much my little uh, my little ramp in a nutshell And whoops wrong menu. There we go And here goes the little tip and then basically they're just going to run up here and they're just going to try and start to um, attack me here. So I'll leave this platform part here um, pretty much uh, flat, but then here we will utilize the... Oh, I don't know why I'm using the um, uh, the power swing. That's just really annoying, but what, what do you do? The guy's a little bit hungry, so I'm just going to quickly give him some food just to get some uh, stamina regeneration happening. So yeah, basically that's where I'm at with things and I'm hoping this will work. Um, it sort of works when I was playing, when I was mucking about before in the other world. Uh, granted, I actually didn't get to complete it. So uh, what had happened was I made a, I made my main, um, my main section here as, as I'm sort of whacking this out and I had my bars going across. And then what had happened was I made a secondary just up here, but they were jumping over and sort of getting in and um, yeah, they were sort of um, attacking me there. Not a lot granted, so it was pretty much just um, a few zombies here and there. And I think a dog sort of glitched in as well, if I recall correctly. So yeah, so with that being said, pretty much um, um, I'm sort of gonna give a little bit more strength to how this works. Evidently, I probably should have made this a little bit higher. Um, Possibly because they they can sort of jump. Um, I probably should have done that. Uh, we might I might just play a tinker with that. I'm not too sure. I might just leave it as is. But I think that might be the way to go for now. But we'll see how we go with that. And if I decide to sort of make it a little bit higher, I think I might have to do that. That's just going to sort of push it back in a little bit. So yeah, I sort of kind of um, you know shot myself there. But that doesn't matter. I think that that'll be okay. I mean, you can actually jump. Yeah, see, I don't want that to happen. All right, so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna sort of um, build this up a little bit more, one level, and I think that would be it. I think that's how it's gonna have to be, unfortunately. 
So at least that one's going to be four high. It might be a little bit too big as an eyesore, but I think that's how it's sort of going to have to be because at least that way these guys can sort of, um, well, they won't be sort of all over the place because that's a problem. I think I need to make it four high. Yep, it's going to have to be four high. Alrighty, guys, so there was a bit of a production issue here, and I think I may have muddled this up, but I'm going to work with it anyway. So I'll let you know what I've actually done so far. And as you can see, it's sort of coming to life, as you can sort of um, as you can sort of see it here. Um, I probably made a bit of a, a probably overcompensated here by adding another full row of this, but I should have just done a corner block just to sort of finish it off kind of thing to make a little bit more on the elegant side, but look, it is what it is, so I've done it that way, but what can you do? There's only so much that you can do with that one there. So let's just sort of jump up and I'll sort of give you a bit of a, an overview of what I've sort of done so far, but let's just quickly just go over here. Okay, so as you can see here, they're going to run up they're going to be here they're not going to be able to get quite in kind of thing as you can see dogs might be the only issue that i'm not going to have but they're only going to be dogs they're not going to be too much so hopefully that should be okay and then from here they're just going to sort of batter themselves around here and i'm just going to hit them from the other end kind of thing and basically that's just going to sort of be the prevention from them to sort of you know try to kill me basically um, exit door is going to be over there as you can see and then from here they're going to sort of uh, just sort of run themselves into the next phase of my um, I might actually add another row actually um, of the next phase of the of what I'm calling it the gauntlet this is probably going to be the gauntlet horde um, protection base thing but anyway that's basically where I'm sort of at with that at the moment and once they sort of get into here they're going to meet themselves into the center where they can see the pit in front of you um, there's going to be wedge inclines right around the inside of the perimeter of that and then basically from there um, I'm going to be on the outer skirts over here and then I'm just going to punch my way around or not punch but more or less hit with clubs, melee, whatever I need to do whether it be guns depending on how badly it sort of takes a turn for the worst if that's the case and then from there basically that's pretty much it they're going to fall into the pit and what will happen to them is they're just going to um, fall in and um, obviously die through here because I'm going to have a whole bunch of spikes in here and that's pretty much it that's pretty much where I'm sort of at with things right now um, oh that's right that's what I wanted to sort of give you a bit of um, a bit of a rundown here so what, what you're looking over here is yeah I'm going to definitely do another row um, I've sort of done a four block sort of um, uh, sort of gelled in together to make a massive pole block if that makes any sense to anyone here but pretty much how that how that sort of works is I'm going to um, uh, utilize this as the, it basically it's all four corners so basically there's going to be one corner second third and fourth on top of it and that's basically going to represent one bar the zombies are going to see it as a four block um, barrier there's two up here because you can only do so much whilst you're up there and then I'm going to sort of run a third um, uh, what do you call it a third sort of tier so they can't jump over and that's what kind of happened in my other world there so um, pretty much um, that's where I'm going to sort of leave it in that sort of respect there um, if I just go ahead and copy the rotation do that and then copy the, this rotation as well and then that pretty much um, allows me to have that extra space here let's just go ahead and copy once more boom and can i just nick that one up there there we go um cool and then i'm just going to build up one more block and i think that should be enough because i think um they sh well, shouldn't have a problem uh sort of running across and you know trying to wreak havoc on me anyway but like i said i think i did one too many here to be perfectly honest with you so that was probably my bad but anyway it is what it is so i'm just i've sort of committed to it and there's only so much that you can do with that um uh, let's have a look and let's just fix up this one here and oh no you oh you idiot Ah, I've been doing this so much off camera and it's been killing me. I'm, I'm so impatient when it comes to building and things like that. I just want to sort of get things done, you know, as soon as possible and, you know, sort of pretty much finish off the base and sort of get it ready for Horde Night. Because there's a few other things I want to do, mainly just getting some ammo ready and more, more or less also just jump over to the trader and just see what he's got on a restock. 
and if he's got what I'm what I'm after, things like bullet casings, um, uh, what do you call it, gunpowder, all that sort of stuff. That's pretty much where I'm sort of uh, wanting to sort of get at. And then once that happens, I can, you know, pretty much get uh, my my defenses ready uh, for the onslaught. But that's pretty much where I'm sort of at with things, uh, you know, at the moment. Um, but aside from that, it's sort of um, coming together. And I'm hoping that this is going to be enough. Because like I said, they're going to run up. They're going to start hitting. I'm going to start hitting. And we're going to have a grand all time. They're going to run over here. I'm going to run over there. Sort of catch them in. Um, in the mix of things. <coughs> Excuse me. And then from here, I'm going to sort of... Um, going to sort of usher them in here. If to if it's getting a bit sort of um, on the... Um, on the dire side. Or just, you know, for the sake of doing it. I'm just going to sort of do that. And they're pretty much... They're going to sort of run themselves into here. And uh, yeah, pretty much... Um, I'm going to lead him into the um, the depths of the whoops uh, of the pit, basically as I'm sort of calling it at the moment. So I'm going to sort of maneuver them into here, and then they're going to sort of run in. And I think I'm going to make it about there because I'm going to have like a little bit of a leeway just so they can sort of run through. And I might just sort of um, build up like a bit of a wall kind of thing, kind of structure, and then basically they're just going to run in. From that angle there so I'm going to sort of try to modify that as best as I can but see how we go with that um, but hopefully yeah um, hopefully this should be enough to sort of you know uh, take them out so I might have a block there a block there kind of thing and then they're, they're just going to sort of run into here and then I think I might make this part in this section here the incline section and then I'm just going to sort of you know, fill it out kind of thing, and then sort of just build it off based off that. I was sort of overcompensated, just sort of jumping around here, just to see how sort of this would sort of work out. But I think I've got the foundations here, so I think we'll sort of try and go ahead and um, and get this one all sorted and organised. I don't think I'll need to do the the foundation thing here. I think I sort of did that again, just overcompensating for a few things. But I might just fix it up anyway. But we'll see how. How we do and um yeah so what we've got here is the next section of the horde base as you guys can see so it's, it is actually coming together as you can tell here and this is basically my theory behind everything that i sort of wanted to do so basically just to sort of reiterate once more the zombies are going to run through at the beginning here run up the ramp try to kill me here i'm going to sort of try and fend them off as best as i can i'll put a third tier up there so they don't sort of climb on top of each other and jump over the top and try to get me but i'm going to have sort of coverings around the base as it is anyway but moving forward once they sort of i guide them through here and they're going to get basically roped into this section here and then i'm going to sort of um, have all the spikes down there and I'm just going to sort of, you know, um, bash them from here. I'm going to have an extra step over here. So I'm going to have like one of the corner blocks here just to sort of, you know, um, so I can sort of jump back a little bit and, um, yeah, just sort of be on the safer side. And that's basically where I'm sort of going to um, have everyone um, sort of uh, attacking from kind of deal. And I think I made a boo-boo here. I think I had this similar problem in my, in my other world as well, just with the issue with that. But, um, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to sort of make it a full, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, squared off, which is going to be a bit of annoying. But hopefully that's going to be enough to sort of hold them off kind of thing as the um, the night sort of progresses. But basically that's where I'm at with things. Before, you know, night sets in, I just sort of wanted to give you guys a bit of a um, an update as has how, how I'm sort of progressing on with this one here. Basically from here, I'm just going to wall up about four high um, over the top kind of thing and I'm going to sort of do the same thing I'm not going to sort of go fully um, uh, what do you call it, enclosed up here probably more so just here just to sort of pr uh, protect myself especially when it comes to things like um, like cops or spitters or anything like that um, here should be too bad because I'm just going to have the perimeter blocked off here and that's sort of going to give me um, you know hopefully that out of protection but it is getting dark, and um, unfortunately, night's going to set in uh, fairly soon, and I'm going to have to sort of, you know, call it a video from here, and I'm going to sort of work into the night, and I don't, you know, it's going to be hard for me to make a video. Oop, there I go. I sort of slipped in. So that's basically how that's sort of going to work itself out, and I'm going to have, uh, you know, oop, pop that there. 
and um, yeah pretty much that's where I'm going to sort of leave it here and if we can sort of get that there and that's going to be basic, the basis of my sort of horde base defense for day 14 so we're pretty much halfway through it I did spend a lot of time on this I'm going to try and work into the night as best as I can to try and get uh, resources A but B um, also an, enough progression so I don't have to sort of um, attend to the horde night for the rest of the evening and that's basically where I'm going to sort of um, try and do the best that I can here and if the blocks can you know sort of cooperate here um, I can sort of you know continue on I'm just going to quickly pump up the gamma just a little bit just so I can see what I'm doing and you guys can see what I'm doing as well hopefully no zombies sort of come my way as I'm sort of just finishing this part off here and um, yeah that's pretty much it um, but appreciate you guys stopping by as always you know checking out the video and all that sort of good stuff here I'm just gonna sort of finish this part section here uh, but yeah like oh, I, think I need to go into advance for that one if I can there we go oh, ah, I just had it I hate when I do that there we go and yeah so like I said this is gonna be my um, hopefully my uh, board base that's gonna sort of you know I'm um, gonna survive on because if not I'm gonna have to bail and go back to my old horde base just to sort of uh, get myself out of trouble but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one it was a building video so hopefully um, this is something that you guys are more interested in as opposed to what I've been doing so far with some of my other videos but I want you to let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it um, and all that sort of good stuff um, but other than that, please hit the like button, share button if you could, two best possible ways that you can support me on my channel. And, um, yeah, let me know how, what you think of my horde base design. Uh, again, not completely my design, but I sort of made a bit of a, um, in addition to the original fact, which is this one here and with this here. And let's see if it works out, because hopefully, um, you know, once horde night sets in, I'll have everything ready to go and, um, and you guys can hopefully enjoy that too. But I'm going to get out of here and I shall see you guys in another video. Oh, I nearly forgot guys. Sorry. Um, just for a post commentary here. What I wanted to quickly show you guys just before I completely sign off. Um, was I finally started killing all, putting all my points into certain components. So what I've done here is yes, I have got level 4 lucky looter now on deck. So hopefully... I'll get some decent uh, loot from uh, you know for time to come but what I also did was I jumped into the strength tree here and I'm on uh, level 3 of Pummel Ooh. Pete and I need to go to strength uh, level 7 strength to get to level 4 but in order for me to get complete level 5 I need strength 10 so I don't know how I feel about that just yet if I want to go down that pathway but right of what I've got here hopefully that should be enough for me Ooh. to you know, fend off anyone in, in terms of any um, POIs or anything like that that I sort of jump into. And hopefully, um, you know, with that being said, um, I won't have to rely on the um, Iron Axe anymore. And I've just got my um, my club that I've got here. I'm still wanting to get myself a, um, a baseball bat. That's good. That's my... Um, that's my goal. If I can get a level 5 tier baseball bat somewhere as a drop or if I can craft the thing, um, whatever that might be or what that sort of looks like, I'm hoping that's, that's going to be uh, you know, my end result because it is more of a better uh, weapon than the Reinforced Club, um, in my opinion, from what I've seen in terms of stats from other players and things like that. So that's where I'm hoping that's going to happen. So I'm, hope, I'm sort of banking on um, pretty much utilising the most out of... Um, the um, uh, the lucky looter tree just so I can get um, some decent loot when I do POIs and things like that. That's what I'm hoping for. And what I really need to get into as well is start getting um, my armor up and running to a more suitable level because right now I don't have the best armor in the world. I will agree with that. Um, so I'm not denying that whatsoever, but I'm hopeful that that's going to happen shortly. Um, once, pretty much once um, we get over the day 14 hot um, board there. But that's pretty much it, guys. Again, once more, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.